Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We got to heal our minds of our people because our people have been taught that this is, a, this is Jesus Christ. Right. And with this image come lies. With right. this image come Christianity. With this image comes Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Day. But when in fact you can't find none of these things in the Bible, because I actually do you believe in Jesus. Would Jesus Christ, did Jesus Christ celebrate Christmas? Did Jesus Christ celebrate New Year's? So why are we doing it then? Why do we do it as a people when you stated that you believe in Christ? So if you believe in Christ, you should all walk like Christ. And we are here to show our people who they are according to the Bible. That's right. I know the same Bible's been in our grandmother's living room. It's even some of your dashboards collecting dust. But when we go take the time to read what's in the book, you know why? Because we don't know that this Bible is our history book. That's right. This Bible is about us. Right. But yeah, when we go to church, we see a white image of Jesus Christ. Hey, my brothers, how y'all doing? Be with your brothers. We are here trying to change the hearts and the minds of our people. Just don't walk away. Just don't walk away. Let me ask you this. Is, what, about the, what do you think about the community right now? The state of the community? Come talk to me, brother. We here. Who's going who's to come out to the community and talk about the community? Where's the activists at? Where's your politicians at? But yeah, when we out here actually bringing up the community, talking about issues in the community, we can't even get nobody to stand around for five minutes. Let's get that Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Again, we out here for our people. We from the same communities. What are some issues in the communities? What are some issues in the uh, black Hispanic community that are bad? Yes. Drugs. Liquor stores. Hey, what's your name, bro? Eric, my name Ariel, man. Come over here. Talk to me for a little bit. Just a few minutes, bro. That's the and that's how it destroyed the, the neighborhood is because when I try to approach my brother, my brother got to stand 20 feet away to talk to me. Why is it that my brother got to stand 20 feet away to talk to me because of the issues that's going on in the community because there's a lack of distrust among our own people in our community. So you said uh, Eric, right? So you said drugs, liquor stores, violence, drugs, and liquor stores. I agree with that. That's some issues in our community right now. But what does the Bible say about that? You should know that the Bible has the solutions for our people. But we have to first realize that this Bible is about us. This is our history book. We are the Israelites. From slavery all the way up until today, the things that we go through as a people is because we fell apart from this. That's right. We fell apart from this. Let's get that. Luke 4 and 18, right? 4 16. 14. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18. Bring it hey, check this out. Read 14. Let me ask you, read 14. Verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. And who? And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. So Jesus returned. You believe in Jesus? So if Jesus was walking around today, well, how we, well, what best description would you give Jesus if he was walking around today? Because you say you believe in Jesus, just like I, your name is Derek. So 20 years or from now, if I was to talk about you 20 years from now, and I was like, do you know Derek? Yeah, I know Derek. Well, how did, give me Derek's description. So again, if Jesus was walking, give me Jesus Christ's description. How does he look? Like me. Hair curly like me. Hair curly like you? And Creole? Hair. Eyes red. Eyes red. But let me ask you this though. That's a good observation. But do they teach that in church? I know you. Do they teach that in the church? I know. I know. He's the opposite of the white man. But do they teach right, but do they teach this true image in the church? I'm sure there's a church on this block. Somewhere down there, I'm sure it's a church on that block. But I understand that, but do they teach the truth of image of Jesus Christ in the church today? So they say. So what do they say then? Eric? Do they do they do your, do the pastor teach revelations in the church? Hey my brother. What's your name, bro? Who? Amil. Okay. 
So I'm asking, do the, but are they teaching his true image in the church? Do they do they read revelations in the church? How to do? I'm gonna read it, but I'm asking, does the past do the pastors teach that? Yeah, because hey, how do we get this image right here? Then how do we get this then? If they teach, if you say. If they teach that it's, it's the right image, then how do we get this image? How do we get this image? If they teach, if they tell, if the pastors and the churches are telling the truth, how do we get this? Think about that. Think about that. Now read that. Let's go to the Bible now. Uh, first, uh, 18. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Come on. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He anointed me to do what? He anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. Now, in our communities, is it better to say that our people are poor or are they the opposite of poor, which is rich? Are, are we wealthy in our communities or are we poor? We're poor. We're poor. We are opposite, really opposite. I'm telling you what the Bible says. We're going we to we work your way up gradually, you know what I'm saying? We, we make it. God made this world. Right. We, we created it, but we made it. Exactly, but overall, our people... We have to talk about the state of our people overall. Because if one person is woke, that doesn't signify the whole state of the people though. Right. We have to be talking about the whole state of the people of world overall. But he said he come to preach the gospel to the poor. So overall in our black and Hispanic communities, we are poor people. It's gonna explain more about that. We can't talk about where I'm woke, I'm woke, but we talk we gotta talk about the whole state of our, our people. Right. And overall the whole state of our people, they don't know that this is a false image. Because I can ask anyone else, some people have told us that Jesus Christ is a white man. So some of our people do believe that this is the true image of Christ. You might know the truth, but overall, our people don't know the truth overall as a whole. And that's why we are here for, to preach the gospel to the poor. Read on. He have sent me. Where you going? Where you going, brother? I gotta go. I'm on the time limit, bro. You on the time limit? Hey, hit this verse. Hit this verse where you go. Hit this verse. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted. So we are here to heal our people. We got to heal our minds of our people because our people have been taught that this is a uh, this is Jesus Christ right. And with this image come lies with right. this image come Christianity with this image comes Christmas Thanksgiving New Year's Day But when in fact you can't find none of these things in the Bible because I actually do you believe in Jesus Would Jesus Christ did Jesus Christ celebrate Christmas? Did Jesus Christ celebrate New Year's? So why are we doing it then? Why do we do it as a people when you stated that you believe in Christ? So if you believe in Christ, you should all walk like Christ. Get that uh, 1 Peter 2 and um, 20, uh, 20, 21. 1 Peter 2 and 21. Let's get that. Is that what I want? This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 21. For even here are two where ye come, because Christ, because who? Because Christ also suffered for us. Christ suffered for us. You say you believe in Christ, right? So we ought to read on. Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So Christ left us an example on how to follow his steps. Now I ask you, did Christ celebrate New Year's Day? You said no. Did he celebrate Thanksgiving? What you think? You said what? No. So why do we do it today? When in fact Christ said we're supposed to follow his examples. We're supposed to walk after his steps. Bring it out, out. Why is that? Why are we not doing those things? Exhort, Read on. Exhort 22. Who did no sin? Neither was God found in his mouth. Read that part again. Who did what? Who did no sin? So Christ did not sin, brother. What is sin? What is sin? Sin is abomination. Sin is wrong. Sin is a wrong Hey, bro, yeah. Sin is a wrong doing. What's wrong? Your definition of wrong might not be my definition of wrong. So we need to understand what these words mean. Still, that's a sin, but what is sin overall? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it for you because this is one thing our people don't know. Because you say you believe in Christ, and Christ said that we should walk after his steps. No, it's not. Christ is one. Allah and Buddha. Those are different gods. And that's where we went off at, worshiping these other gods. And that's how we got Christmas today, because we associate Jesus Christ with Christmas. So if they say Jesus 
Christ was born on Christmas, how do we get Santa Claus? I'm asking again. So, they say Jesus Christ was born on Christmas, right? So, where does Santa Claus fall in at? Because Santa Claus is associated with Christmas, right? So, what does Santa Claus have to do with Christmas? I'm going to tell you, not a damn thing. So, again, you cannot, you cannot associate Buddha, you cannot associate Allah with the Christ of this Bible. Because that's what happened. They took these pagan gods and they tried to merge it over to the truth. And that's where you get falseness from. That's where you get lies from. So, Christ said we should follow his steps. Verse 22, read that. Who did no sin? Who did no what? Who did no sin? So what is sin according to the Bible? Okay. Hey, my brother. What's your name, bro? My brother right here. What's your name? How you doing, man? Julian. Julian, man. Hey, so what is sin? Because Christ didn't do no sin. What is sin? You know what sin is? Who knows what sin is? Bring it out. Who knows what sin means? Who knows? Let's get it. Let's get it. You get that first John. Hey, listen up. Uh, let's go, Eric. Listen up. This is the book of first John, chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committeth sin. Whosoever do what? Whosoever committeth sin. Transgressive also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression, or sin is breaking the law. So that's one thing our people lack in our, in our communities. We lack God's laws. That's why we can sit up here and say Christmas is real. We can sit up here and say Christ is white. That's why we can sit up here and say, celebrate Thanksgiving. Because we have forsaken God's laws. So go back to Luke chapter 4. Let's so go back to Luke. Hey, my brother, come back, bro. That's what's going on in our communities, right? Because like you said, Eric, we have crime. We have liquor stores. And what else we have? We have crime, liquor stores, and murder in our community, right? And it's so hard for us to die like as a people because as I was getting your attention, you was way over there. Like, bro, I don't know this brother like that. When in fact, we out here for our people, but the, the issues in our community has disconnected us from each other. The issues that plague our community has disconnected us from working together. Right. We look at each other as enemies. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.